Six World turns into a Super Saiyan God. New power awakens. Alright, so Bandai Namco is back at it again with another cash grab DLC. I just can't believe that there's people out there calling off work and skipping school still to play a Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC. I mean, listen, I've seen it all, my guy. The DLC count is higher than my body count. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit insecure here, Bandai Namco. What are you doing? Now, you beautiful people already know that I've not played a Dragon Ball Xenoverse game since like 2018. It's been about three years now. I've not played Dragon Ball Xenoverse. But when I seen the Super Saiyan god free update i just had to come back and play it one last time now i'm not here to bash the game and i'm definitely not here to praise it but i'm gonna give my honest opinion about how i feel about kale's section of the dlc i want to see if i can surpass my saiyan limit by adding her skills to my cac in this game and i just want to add one thing to this as well i'm really tired of the pqs all right i've been grinding pqs for like i don't know an hour and i did not get her ultimate imagine pulling up to a mcdonald's drive through and telling them you want a double cheeseburger and they're like yeah well that cheese is gonna be rng my guy it's not guaranteed like <laughs> what i paid my three dollars for my double cheeseburger but yet i can't even get it guaranteed on my sandwich that's insane i feel the same way i just feel like i get cucked every time i buy a dlc for xenoverse 2 like yeah of course you gotta grind for the new jutsu and rewards that you get from the dlc and shinobi striker but at least it's guaranteed right it's not rng if you play a certain amount of games you're guaranteed to get those items but anyways small little rant let's get into the review Hey. So the first thing I want to talk about is her actual outfit and her wig. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I found out just recently that they added a barber to the game, but you're still adding wigs. It's crazy. It's insane. Like, like Bandai, you really added a whole stylist to the game just to give us more wigs. That's insane. That's so disrespectful. I'm not going to lie. I can't I can't defend you on that, my guy. As far as Kel's outfit goes, though, I really do fuck with it. I give it an A+, plus, my guy. All right. Now, the top I like more. I'm not really fucking with the bottom, but again, I really do like it. I wear it on my sand. There you go right there you see it dripped out i go crazy okay so the first skill i want to talk about is blaster cannon now blaster cannon is actually pretty cool i ain't gonna lie so there is two ways that you can use this skill and one of the ways is pretty much useless but we're gonna talk about it anyway so the first way is obviously just like you know literally just pressing the command and you know it sets off and it's kind of useless and stupid then you have this second way which pretty much after you knock someone back you can like literally hit them again and then launch the attack which i think is really cool but the best part about it is that if you launch an ultimate you can use blaster cannon to follow up after that ultimate to pretty much finish them off how many times have you launched an ultimate and they have like five percent of their health left i've lost count how many times i've been cucked by someone not dying after hitting them with an ultimate to the face my guy but this right here guarantees are getting dropped off all right we then have blaster bomb just another generic green broly type beat move sound effect with the green you know how it goes now look i'm not gonna lie it's still pretty cool i do like it but is it so cool that you're gonna have this skill on all your presets no is it ever gonna be on your presets probably not but it's just another generic move like i said nothing too crazy it's just fun to throw in like some team battles or whatever and then finally we have blaster stream another green broly type move nothing too crazy again the animation is kind of fire but that's about it the damage is fairly decent but again not a move that's gonna be on my presets that's gonna change the meta forever it's just another generic dlc move but yeah that's how i feel about kale being in the game but you guys let me know how you feel about her do you guys think that kale was a really cool dlc character or are you guys like why do we even have 13 dlcs my guy but one can only hope that dragon ball xenoverse 3 will release sometime in the future who knows but anyways thank y'all for watching the video i really do appreciate it if you haven't already, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, that being said, Team 6, I am out. All my six soldiers salute. Gang shit, my guy. Ayy!